Therapeutics is a clinical stage biotechnology company focused on developing proprietary new therapies to enhance the function of regulatory T cells. And they're currently developing a multi-modality TREG therapy for neurodegenerative, autoimmune, and metabolic diseases. And with me is uh, Dr. Howard Berman, the CEO and chairman of the board of Koya Therapeutics. Great to have you here. I guess just start with explaining how Koya Therapeutics new therapies work to enhance the regulatory function of T cells and why that is important for people that are, are dealing with these kinds of diseases. Let me just first say it's a pleasure to be with you today. And what my sixth grade daughter always asks me what I do. So I need to be able to explain to her in a very simplistic manner. If I'm able to explain it to her, I should be able to explain it to anyone. And, and it's very understandable, frankly, because what we've begun to discover and learn is that neurodegenerative diseases are driven by inflammation. And inflammation is the result of sick and damaged neurons. What typically happens is the neurons become sick, they become diseased, and the immune system responds to those sick neurons. You have immune cells that congregate and try and fix the damage, but ultimately it becomes a pathologic process with a ramped up immune system. And one of the things that drives that heightened immune system is this regulatory T cell, the Treg, we call it for short. Those are the most important cell in the body that controls inflammation. If the Tregs ain't working well, you get heightened inflammation. So our goal here is to fix those dysfunctional Tregs and be able to suppress that inflammatory process. And if you can do that, you may be able to stop or slow the disease from progressing. Okay, very interesting. And when we talk about neurodegenerative diseases, we're talking about ALS, right? And Alzheimer's, like what would that encompass? What kind of diseases that we're all familiar with? Yeah, I mean, this encompasses all the neurodegenerative conditions. So ALS is a disease of the motor neurons. The motor neurons exist both in the central nervous system as well as in the periphery, so near your muscles. Whereas Alzheimer's, the neurons are in the brain. Parkinson's and neurons are affected are in the brain. So the neurodegenerative diseases are all dysfunctions of neurons, but it all depends on where those neurons are impacted. So guess what? Inflammation, we're getting to learn, is one of the most critical mediators of the disease process. So even if you impact in Alzheimer's, for instance, these new drugs, beta amyloid or tau, you've heard about Eli Lilly's drug. Mm -hmm. Even if you modify those, you're not really modifying the directly the inflammatory cascade and process that is driving the disease from going out of control. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay. It's amazing. The inflammation may be the key to this when that's something that we haven't really looked at too much before. So how does Acquia differentiate itself from other companies that are working to treat these diseases, maybe in similar methods? So there are a number of companies that are focused on inflammation, number one, and they're targeting neurodegenerative conditions. We are one of the few that are targeting regulatory T cells in neurodegenerative diseases. And we're pretty far clinically advanced now. We're really moving quickly in this process. The other companies targeting the immune system are doing a good job, but they're only targeting one pathway. They're targeting an individual cytokine pathway here or another pathway there. But what we've learned in the immune system is that it's redundant, just like in cancer and oncology. If you target one pathway, another one takes over. So what makes us unique is that if you target the Tregs, these regulatory T cells, you're targeting the, the upstream pathway of this process. So you hit many other downstream pathways, and that is the best way to target this process because of the redundancy. And like I said, we're also focused on combination drugs because like in cancer and in HIV and AIDS, if you put multiple drugs together, we think that will have the best impact. You mentioned the clinical trials too. Where are you in that part of the process? Sure. So we've run two proof of concept trials with the leading neurodegenerative expert in the world, one of them, Dr. Stan Appel at Houston Methodist. We've run a proof of concept trial in ALS using our biologic combination immunotherapy. And that trial was successful. We stopped progression out to 24 weeks and almost stop progression out to 48 weeks to a year in ALS patients. Mm -hmm. Now our goal here is to run a much larger trial, which we're planning at the end of this year. And we're planning on doing a double blind randomized trial. And we're working very actively to that process. We're also presenting next week Alzheimer's data in eight patients, albeit in an open label trial, but we're gonna be showing cognitive function 
bio, blood biomarkers, what happens when you give the therapy, and that data should be coming out showing how impacting Treg affect the Alzheimer's brain. Okay. And what would be the market potential globally for this particular therapy? Well, it's enormous. ALS is a is an ongoing problem. There are very few treatments out there and none of them are very good. They don't only minimally slow progression. So if we can have something that can either significantly slow it or stop the progression, that's a huge market opportunity and uptake. In Alzheimer's disease, dementias and Parkinson's, I mean, these are growing problems. They say that Alzheimer's is the next pandemic with the aging of the population and with the lifestyle people unfortunately have, the number of patients with dementias and Alzheimer's is only going to grow. So it is a major problem. People recognize it. They also recognize that these drugs from Lilly, these beta amyloid, they're, they have promise, but they're also very toxic. They cause potential side effects that you really have to look at. So inflammatory drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs really are an exciting way, which uh, can make a meaningful difference for many patients. I, unfortunately, I lost my dad a few months ago from a dementia. This is personal to me. We're all in a race to really make a difference. And I truly want to relieve the burden of, of patients and their families because I know what it is to go through. I lost my dad to Alzheimer's in 2016. So it's something important to me as well. Now with Koya, is set to present the first result results from the academic proof of concept on Koya 301 at the Keystone Symposia. Tell us a little bit about that. What will you be presenting there? So my chief medical officer will be presenting this. It will be a snapshot of data showing in eight Alzheimer's patients who all had mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease, which is different than some of these other trials that focus on milder cases of Alzheimer's. So we took more advanced cases of Alzheimer's patients. We are going to look at a period of time of four months on treatment and then a few months with what we call washout or post-treatment. We're going to be looking at the cognitive function, including the various scores that people use to measure cognitive function. We're going to measure their blood to see what happens to pro-inflammatory markers and another Treg function. And we're also looking at safety and tolerability. Well, doctor, thank you so much for the research and thank you for joining me. It's important. And I know that a lot of families are hopeful that there'll be a treatment in the future. And I thank you so much for your time.